Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this interesting word problem. We are asked to find the least number of terms for the sum of 3 plus 6 plus 12 plus 24 plus 48 and so on to exceed 1500. It is something you can do with your calculator. Just keep on adding these numbers till you get to a number, the first number that exceeds 1500. Then you count the number of terms you have. But that is a waste of time. All right, let's get started. Before we talk about the series, let us talk about the sequence. You have to understand which sequence is this. Just observe, once you multiply 3 by 2, it will give us 6. 6 times 2 will be 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 24 times 2 is 48, which implies that this sequence is a geometric sequence that has a constant common ratio. So the first term is denoted by A, which is 3. Then the common ratio R is what? Um, 2. Then what we are looking for is the number of terms. Number of these terms, already we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The next term will be 48 times 2. You keep on adding these numbers till you get to a number which is greater than uh, 1,500. Then you count the number of terms. So therefore, we are looking for the number of terms. So what is the formula for calculating the sum of geometric series? As n is equal to e multiplied by r to the power of n minus 1, divided by r minus 1. This is the formula. So now let us substitute the data here before we talk about this one. Um, e is 3 r is 2 to the power of n minus 1 divided by r is 2 minus 1. But according to the question, it stated what? Exceed, meaning we are going to use greater than type. Greater than 1,500. Okay, 2 minus 1 is 1, so we have no problem with that. We can divide both sides by 3. So we have 2 to the power of n minus 1 is greater than 500 because 1,500 divided by 3 is 500. Then we can take 1 to the other side. We have 2 to the power of n greater than 501, because this will become positive. 500 plus 1 is 501. Then from here, we can take log on both sides. You take log of 2 to the power of n. You equally do the same thing, log of um, 501. You should make it in base 2 just to clear this one. Base 2. And according to one of the laws of logarithm, this number can drop down to multiply. So we have n multiplied by log 2 base 2, which is 1. So this is just greater than log of 501 base 2. According to my calculator, we have approximately 8.96 and so on. But remember that n is an integer, a positive integer. And we are looking for n greater than this one. The only integer, the smallest one after this one will be 9. So therefore, n is equal to 9. If you have 9 terms, you can do that. Already we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You have 4 other ones. Just keep on multiplying by 2, multiplying by 2 after 9. Add all of them together. You must realize a number greater than 1,500. Or you can simply substitute 9 as the value of n into this formula. If you do that, you have to get um, a number which is greater than 1,500. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.